Let us start afresh, shall we? Miladies. You are welcome here to Hercules that such a well-respected adventurer would choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is that you will be joining. No. A grand company is more than simply a collection of soldiers. It is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the resources of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing against the nation's deadliest enemies. We of the Maelstrom are charged with meeting the threats posed by the primals in the Garlean Empire and solving the many problems caused by the Calamity. Every man and woman who serves under our colors has a role to play in keeping the great warship that is Limza Lomenza afloat and on whatever heading Chief Admiral Merlvib blows, uh, sees fit to set. Sorry, I forgot to say the last name. As part of this grand vessel's crew, you will be expected to take your turn at the oars, for the winds do not look favorable, lad, and strength of arm may be all that sees us safe to port. Bluefest Vin, right? If I've lost you with all talk of ship and only put it another way, a maelstrom soldier labors till his last breath, fights till his last drop of blood. We give all in our service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. You lease, it is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their choosing upon entering the maelstrom's ranks. Is there aught you'd like to say? <laughs> You have my sword. The skills I have are yours. I will follow the Admiral to the very bottom of the abyss. I would love to follow the Admiral to her bottom, if you know what I'm saying. But I have to go with you have my sword, because it's Aragorn. If by my life or death, I can protect you. I will. You have my sword till sea swallows all. And I've no doubt we'll need it. Keep your weapons close to hand, lad. Torquilis, I hereby assign you the rank of Storm Private Third Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. I would love to storm the Admiral's privates. Welcome aboard, Private. May you serve Limza Lamenta well till sea swallows all. Till sea swallows all, baby. God damn, we look good. We look good. We look good. Oh, our pearl. Can you hear me, Twerk? This is Menphilia. I hear you. Yeah. Officer of the Maelstrom, contact me with news of your enlistment. My congratulations, Private Ulysses. I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to your old ones first. Remember, though you are now a man of the storm, you are no less a scion. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. There are some... Friends here whom I would very much like you to meet, we shall be waiting. I'm not gonna lie, I keep reading Walking Sands and not waking, but no rest for the wicked, eh? Before you make yourself scarce, I recommend having a word with Commander Ricky. Might be worth your while. Hey, Ricky, you're so fine, you're so funny, you blow my mind. Hey, Ricky. Hey, 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 Ricky. Oh, damn, Ricky is fine. Uh, you may now accept the quest, my little Jacobo, by speaking to Ricky. This quest must be completed in order to proceed to the end of the main scenario for a realm reborn. Yes. Are you, little Jacobo? We getting mount? Are we getting mounted, baby? Items for company seals. Company seals are only redeemable with the grand company that issued them. <gasps> Jacobo, Jacobo, Jacobo. Supplying provisional missions. Um. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Listen to Pahish and one of the hosts mistakenly said wigs and veg. I love that. Were you listening to a Final Fantasy podcast? Kind of like an army or something, but that sounds bland. So we'll call it a grand company. Degen City, Degen City, Chicken North, Chicken North, Chicken North, Chicken North. A couple that I've been listening to. That's awesome, Chabone. I love that. I love one that they're out there and two that they've got an audience. Hey, Ricky, you're so fine. You're so fine. Blow my mind. Hey, Ricky. Hey, 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 Ricky. Look into having a personal Chocobo issued. Yes. Well, if it isn't private, you lease, I must say the tales of your deeds have been an inspiration to the troops. Our duties take us far and wide, and I'll wager you've slogged across quite a few moms of countryside on naught but your own two feet. Such a sterling soldier of the Maelstrom deserves his own steed. Let us see about having one issued for you. Yes, please. All you need to do is obtain a Storm Chocobo issuance by exchanging company seals with the quartermaster. Bruh. Once you have this deed, present it to Fragrin. And she'll see you sailed up on your own trusty birds. All right. All right. All right. Where is Frey at? Where is Frey at? Quartermaster? Okay. No, not you. Okay. I just want to... 
I need to know how many I need to have. Trivia, the Maelstrom Kanonka is notably more female members than the others. They say it's military forces due to their presence of several all-female pirate crews. My favorite kind of crew. It's always a point of confusion. Your next MSQ turn in will give you the seals. Ah, thank you, Meerkat. Appreciate it. Remember all that dungeon gear I had you saving? Yes. Like everything here? Yes. You can turn those in for seals also? No. Fan. Fucking fantastic. Oh, with the Storm Quartermaster. Okay, so Storm Quartermaster, and then I give it to Fragum. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so let's talk to Quartermaster. How many How many you need, m'lady? 200. 200, 200, 200. All right, if we get it from... If we get it from the next MSQ, then perfect. Cool, cool. Good to know. Thank you, Meerkat. Appreciate appreciate. Can't turn until you get some promotions. Dope. They'll promote me real fast. Once they see how big my... They'll promote me real fast. Um... <laughs> Rob Han's left arm? <laughs> That's fucking incredible, man. That's incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, they're streamlined a lot of the game, but for some reason getting the Chocobo is still weird and confusing. It's very interesting. It's interesting to see just how the different... How the different, um... MMOs do it, you know? Goodness, I'm... I'm so excited to have a mount have a mount get mounted all of the above is it tires change heard heard tell one of me brothers came through not long ago looking like oh we're talking about brent and this is brennan it's a different character that's why it's a tires change it is brent and this is brennan okay looks like i just missed him though i ain't seen either of them since the calamity so there's a brother for each city interesting didn't even know if they were still alive but after running to folk who swore they knew me time and again, I reckon they had to be out there somewhere. I've been traveling and peddling in the hopes I'd find me brothers ever since. If you see a fellow who looks like me, tell him, let him know that Brennan's looking for him, would you? Aww, five years, they don't know. They haven't seen each other. My heart, Lord, Ajarni, howdy, we're good. How are you doing? I'm a Gradania star, so Ida and Pops, my ride or die homies. Fair if uncle makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, fan creds my ride or die. So, respect, understandable. Yeesh Tola. Meow. We will continue to focus our efforts on investigating the primals. The Amalja are not the only tribe that has succeeded, succeeded in summoning its deity. Yuri Yanje. Fate shall be thy guide. When our purposes become one, once again shall our path lead us here. Our city of learning is now not but shadows. Ere the light of dawn breaketh, shall we follow whither the sun blow? I like the lore. I I like the lore. I like lore. Live, laugh, lore. It, that's what makes an MMO so much fun to explore, is finding all this kind of information out. And I was told yesterday um, that the dialogue changes for all these characters in between MSQ stuff, so... People have changed positions, dialogue has changed, so it's like, cool, time to talk to everybody. It's nice to just, like, see that things change, and because it just shows effort, makes the world feel much more than it is, you know? Um, that's a big reason why I love World of Warcraft for so long and so much is because of just, like, the world building around it. I played Warcraft 3 first. So I had like a really big story set up for World of Warcraft that made me really enjoy it so much. Um, that's why Wrath of the Lich King is my favorite expansion for WoW is because of the storytelling in Warcraft 3. Because I loved Arthas as a character and his arc in Warcraft 3 was fucking wild. And so to see that continuation on into WoW in the expansion of Wrath of the Lich King was nuts. It's just like you have that connection. Wish I'd done that when I was going through. Chabon, just make a new character. Do it again. So they do the they do the Paper Mario Luigi thing where even the regular NPCs go through their own adventures and character arcs in the background. Yeah. And it's like the the after you do your first first dungeon, you see that adventuring party. You kind of see their progression at least through that first little bit of dungeons. R.I.P. the tank. I'm also a little Lord Gremlin. You're just a little gremlin in general, Parlor, because you're a Lala. But also, yeah, Lord Gremlin as well. <laughs> Liavian, have we met somewhere before? You must be quite the accomplished adventurer to be welcomed into these halls. I don't think we've met. You weren't here last time. 
Me, no one's ever expected much of me, and so far I've done a fine job of living down their expectations. Fair enough. Una, you couldn't remember anything. I've been chatting with Persivans, and we both swear that there was another member of our crew. We still ain't figured out a way to prove who we was, but we just see wait and see. It won't be long before everybody sees us for the heroes we is. And someone said that this is like a 1.0 NPC, which is cool. Ollie. I'm not sure I grasp the purpose of these remembrance ceremonies. Whether you remember the re remember or rewrite the past, what does it matter? It isn't as though you can repeat it. You, I mean, that's the whole point is that you don't repeat it. Our present day enemies ought to serve as sufficient motivation, don't you think? Fair though. The only lesson I believe we should take from the calamity is that far greater threats can and will appear. I like the way you think, Ollie. Are involved? Are you pledged yourself to a grand company? Me? I don't think I could do it. I'd never feel like one of them, no matter what the recruiters say. Fair enough. Armor mender. Scion supplier. Look at the hat. Look at the mustache. Incredible. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic, dude. I will bite your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> kick you, I'll 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 punt. Kidding. She was outside one of the dungeons you did in a party? Oh, okay, Meerkat. Okay, okay, okay. Than cred, didn't see you sitting over here all broody like. Toes out here for free, Than cred, in this economy? Pff, too generous. The incident with the trader still weighs heavily on everyone's minds. The flame generals, most of all. And although he cannot be expected to know what evil lurks in the hearts of every man under his command, the revelation is nevertheless a devastating blow to his authority. Even so, it warrants saying that you should not let this tragedy color your opinion of the man. In all my years working with the Flame General, I've never had reason to doubt his capacity to lead. There's some NPCs in this game that are so minor, but I absolutely adore them. See, and I love that. I love that there is that love for those NPCs. That's like Star Wars. Everyone loves like their, I think they're called Glup Shuttas in Star Wars fandom, where it's like background characters who are like super minor, but like, oh, that person looks cool. Like Boba Fett for the longest time was a, was one of those characters before he actually got live, laugh, lore, you know? One of the best streamers I ever watched playing this game was an English professor who did deep literary analysis of every single line. Sadly, life happened. He had to stop streaming midway through Heaven's War. Damn, that's so cool. There is some, like... Some people can... Streamers really offer such incredible stuff when it comes to very unique stuff to the games they play. There is this one streamer who I see on TikTok. I want to say he's called Dr. Mick. And he's a... He's a, he's a therapist, psychologist, something along those lines. Um, licensed, practicing, all that stuff. And as he plays games like God of War Ragnarok, he'll break down those scenes, or Mass Effect. He'll break down those scenes, those interactions. And it's very, very interesting to like hear that kind of analysis. I love when streamers get into theories, right? It's fun to, like, to brainstorm a little bit. That's cool. I like that. Right? It's really neat. Like I, his his TikToks will pop up in my feed. That's where I usually see him. And he'll just be like, he'll have like a quick conversation. And he'll just be like, Kratos is doing this because Kratos doesn't want this to happen. And it just like goes into like, you know, the reasons behind it all. All right, let's go talk to mommy. Mommy, welcome back to work. Lady Minfilia awaits you within. Yeah, damn right she does. Ooh, storm seal. We needed two hundred for the Chocobo. God damn, welcome back. Seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. You have no idea. How do I know why the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics? The pride in his voice was palpable. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Twerk. Now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I ne neglected to mention that you have already met. Mm -hmm. Tataru, please show them in. Wait, is it Tataru? This way, sirs. Can't remember. Bids and Wedge! Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. 
but I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs, and and I'm 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 God's man. Spit it out, will you? Wedge, wedge at your service. I love them. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. It's not just because it's Star Wars. Actually, big reason, actually. Magitek-driven contraptions such as airships grow every more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scions should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this, we needed the knowledge of experts. And so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Biggs and Wedge. I love the Star Wars. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea. And I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. I'll I'll show I'll give you a feeling of fulfillment. Don't you worry. I'll give you plenty of feelings of fulfillment, Menphilia. <laughs> Investigate the sylphs? Okay. I know that. Now, having set aside the formalities... Oh, voice acting. We have a favor to ask of you. Anything you want, I will do it. Arianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. That's Fenris. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. What are those shorts for Ida? Our task was to survey the behavior of the <laughs> Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. I forgot about Papalimo's voice oh, acting. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones, that worship the primal Ramu. Ramu, I didn't say that right. Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the Primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Hmm. Until such time as we know. Interesting. Can't it would summon. be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the Primal has passed. Fair. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. I hate that. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. Actually, I didn't know that, so thank you for reminding me. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the echo. Oh? Winning the Sylph's favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the primals. Will you help us? Hell yeah, mommy. I am grateful. Yeah? Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. <laughs> Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida! Us! <laughs> I love that. Us! Us, Ida! Us! Uh Okay, we're we're going to mount up first though before we do anything. We're not going anywhere till we get a mount to Chicobo. Ligma Lamenta. 
Please and thank you. I'm ready for a mount. I'm ready for a mount. I'm ready for a mount. I want a Chocobo. Chocobo. <laughs> Milady, you have something that I want. Venture. What's 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 that? What is that? Why don't you tell me what that is? Whatever. I don't care. Yes. 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 Bunny McMurray. Bunny McMurray. Oh, I love that. Adds a Letterkenny reference. Bonnie McMurray. That's fantastic. Oh, Chocobo Keep. Want a bird issued, you say? Then I need to see your Storm Chocobo issuance. Uh, one Storm Chocobo issuance. Give me, give me Choco. Give me Choco. Give me Choco. Choco Bo. Choco Bo. Choco Bo. Everything seems to be in order. Yes, Chocobo, 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 Chocobo. Be right back with your Chocobo, 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 Chocobo. chocobo. Yeah! <laughs> and here he is. The fellow's been in high spirits the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, we want to give your noble steed a name. <laughs> we get the name. We get to name him. Name your Chocobo. Chocobo. Queer! Queer! <laughs> ah. And with that, the name. What's in a name? I'm torn between two names. These are two classic names for me on the channel when it comes to naming pets, companions of this variety. It's either peaches or it's cheeks. One of the two. Peaches or cheeks. 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 Quick! Yeah, we have a chocobo. Hello. Hello. I dare say he likes his name. He, he is here is your very own chocobo whistle. Blow into it and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoned in crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. That's fair. Stout, hard creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your Chocobo's rider's license required by law. And that concludes all the formalities of wishing your Chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. They got it, Chocobo! Chocobo, 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 Chocobo! Chocobo! Little blaster bark! Hey there, Bark. How's it going? Uh, some of you don't like rental triples. There's no time limit regulating. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, wait, what? Hold on. Hello? Hey! Hey! Hey now! Hey now! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! You were the flying chair. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> thank you, Bark. It's, I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Bark. We got, we got, we got stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna take it all for a spin. Hold on. All right, all right. Mount guide. <laughs> I don't need a guide for mountain. Mm -hmm. Born and bred in the city state of Ishgard, the majority of company chocobos are geldings of the r round sea variety. However, massive dis destroyers and miniature Belladia and Jeanettes are also raised on a to accommodate the builds of Rogadin and Lalafell and Ryers, respectively. Featuring elegant lines and design to minimize waste, this lovingly crafted chair is bound to fly into the hearts of adventurers the world over. No assembly required. All right. <laughs> Look at the, why are we sitting like this? <laughs> why are we sitting like this? <laughs> That's amazing, man. Look at our sword. It's so funny. Bark, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the chair. Now they use the revised Final Fantasy Tactics Chocobo classifications. Forget about, forgot about that. Interesting. 
Yeah. Look, Ma, I'm a real Final Fantasy player now. I'm a real Final Fantasy player now, Ma. I've got my own little chocobo. Look at me go. Look at us. I love it. I love it so much. No longer a peasant walking with my feet. We ride. <laughs> You're welcome. Consider it charity bark. I love that. Charity, motherfucker. That's good. That's good. They grow up so fast. I know a week ago we were just we were walking. It's been a week walking. I was in, I had enough of it. I was over it. And you're just a peasant that can't fly. Sure, we'll get there at some point. Okay, we'll get to flying at some point. When do we? When do, when 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 can we? When when do we fly? When can we fly? When does that happen? After ARR parlor. You are a gym. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm glad it's not too far away. You know, I'm glad it's not like this extremely long time. Tell the other three major species of chocobo. Round seas are the common yellow ones everyone's used to and is the fastest breed, the highest stamina. So they're most commonly used in mounts and beasts of burden. Ah, okay, okay. You have to earn flying each expansion. Don't get too excited for that. Ah, okay. That's how WoW is. But WoW, it's like. You have to have a shit ton of gold to spend on it. It's not cheap, but I didn't have to pay any gold here, so I'm hopeful. Serpent Commander. Pfft, Serpent Commander. <sighs> Love finding me a Serpent Commander in my life, you know what I'm saying? We know far too little of the Sylphs to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the Scions once more if we are to... Ah, uh, beg pardons. Terrible habit of mine to think out loud, but tell me. What brings you to the Adder's Nest? Well, you see, I am the Scion. Hail adventure, I bet you welcome to the Adder's Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the twin adders? No. I hate snakes. Morning, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Yeah. Ida and Papalima, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men, tell me you quest the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the twin adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Ah, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelve's Wood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the Elder Seed Seer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The twin adders of the same mind, and tis precisely for this reason that the Sylphs' relation to the primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning against our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed. Do we strike at Ramu or lead the Sylphs to their own ways? That is a question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. Yep. Would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. Aye. The sylphs of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of productive parley. En route to Little Solace, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you to ha as to how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs? This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut was it? Why, well, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. Ah, okay. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papa Limo. Dope, 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 dope. When you're next in the Chocobo Friendly Zone, I'm going to show you how tiny my super little Chocobo is parlor. Please? Please? I'm a lady. Hit the wrong button. That's okay. That happens. Sometimes we press the wrong button. It's the name of the game, Lucian. That's fine. Happens to the best of us. A little too often. You push the wrong button. You're like, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to push in there. Jesus Christ to me. Hello. Okay. All right. Hello.